Hi, I'm Eric Hyde. Daystar was the first to jump into the leveling market in 1995. And since then, they've built the most complete line of leveling kits that you'll find. I'm here with Trent McGee. Trent, tell us about Daystar. Well, Daystar has been in business for over 30 years. We pride ourselves on making quality products for both the original equipment manufacturers and the majority of the aftermarket as well. Now, whether you drive a stock vehicle or one that's been modified, there's a good chance you've already had some experience with Daystar products. Now, as you mentioned, we've been in the leveling kit business since 1995, and we've built a reputation for providing no-hassle products that eliminate the factory nose-down rake that all stock trucks have these days, while providing room to step up a few tire and wheel sizes. Now, because we've been doing leveling kits for so long, we have one of the most extensive product lines that you're going to find. Now, there's a good strong chance that we have something that fits your customer's application, even if it's a little bit unusual, like, say, a Kia Sorento or a Dodge Nitro. But for the late model applications, we have all of them covered. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Jeep, Toyota, Nissan, trucker SUV, two or four wheel drive, they're all part of the product mix. Not only that, a lot of our applications go clear back to the early 80s. So if you'll take a few minutes to study our application guide, you'll see what I'm talking about. Great, perfect. As most of us know, light duty trucks and SUVs have had independent front suspension for some time. IFS offers better ride and handling characteristics over the early solid axle trucks. In an effort to further improve ride quality, virtually all the late model applications have gone to a strut like this one here. However, it's with this type of suspension that real differences start when comparing one leveling kit to another. As you can see here, Daystar Spacer bolts to the top of the factory strut rather than installing somewhere inside the coil assembly. This is Daystar's unique, easy install design. Trent, tell us a little bit more about this design. Well, as the name implies, the easy install is all about, well, <laughs> ease easy of install. installation. That's right. Now, all of Daystar's products mount on top of the factory strut assembly, as this case, or at the top of the coil spring. Now, with this type of design, there's no strut disassembly needed. With some of the other products that you'll see out there, there are pieces that have to be installed within the strut assembly itself. So you have to take the strut assembly apart. That's correct. Now, this method presents two problems. Number one, you have to take the strut apart, and that requires a special tool called a strut compressor, which is pretty expensive. And two, it greatly increases the amount of time for installation. Now, as you'll see later when we do a leveling kit on the stock F-150 behind us, all of our stuff bolts to the top of the factory strut. We're essentially spacing it down in order to achieve lift. And because you're mounting everything on top of the strut, there's no impact on ride and handling. Daystar isn't preloading the coil spring, which bumps up the spring rate. Also, when your lift method is inside the strut, you risk overextending the assembly, which also degrades ride quality and could reduce the life of the strut itself. Now, as I mentioned before, we work with almost all of the OE manufacturers, so we already know the formulations that they use. Now, if we were to take the strut assembly apart, we'd see urethane, rubber, and sometimes both in the assembly. Now, these components are designed for the life of the vehicle, and so are our products. Our products are backed by a lifetime warranty, and it's not limited to the original purchaser. Basically, if you ever experience a problem with the Daystar product, we'll take care of it. I've also noticed that all the other lift and leveling kits out there are using steel or aluminum spacers rather than polyurethane. What are the advantages of using polyurethane? Well, the primary advantage with polyurethane is that it's an insulator. It absorbs noise, vibration, and harmonics that come from the suspension. Now, I mentioned that you're going to find urethane and rubber in a factory strut. Well, they're there to eliminate that NDH. Also, you can see there's no metal-on-metal -metal contact here. We're enhancing what the factory builds in the suspension while gaining lift. Now one of the things we like to use when we're out promoting our products is this demonstration hammer. Now on the one side we have urethane. This is the same urethane that we make our lift and leveling kits out of. On the other side you have metal, in this case aluminum. Now with the metal spacer, you've got that metal on metal contact, but this is important, there's a lot of sound and also vibration being transferred through the handle to my hand. Now with urethane, it's got some give to it, but it's also absorbing a lot of that vibration. Now with the metal, you've got something that's potentially going to chip and fade and rust over time. Versus urethane, well this thing's been hit several times and it still looks brand new. That's an important point to bring up about our products. Our products are going to look just like they came out of the box 10 years from now.